So we come back to our Clever page and then click on Pages and then My Teacher Pages. This is where you can add as many pages as you would like to. Or you can go in and edit a page that you already have created. So if I click on plus add, it's gonna create a brand new page. On that page, I can personalize my icon by clicking any one of these or keeping the one that Clever selected for me. Or I can even upload a picture from my computer that I already have. I can change the header color and then I can click save and all of those different things have changed. If I want to change the name of it, I'll just click and type in whatever page name that I would like and I can even change my description. Once I have those things changed the way I like it, I can come over in the top right corner, click on add, and I can add any categories, PDFs, links, or apps that I would like to. So if I choose category, I can type in whatever categories I want, such as first block, go to add category, second block, and so on and so forth. If I use these arrows, you can change the order that they are seen in. And I can always just hover over, click into it, and change it to something completely different if I wanted to. And I can add as many as I like. Once I have my categories, I can come in and start adding apps, PDFs, or links. So I'm going to add an app. Click here where it says search by name and then start searching for one of those apps that I use every day in my class and add it. It automatically got added to a newly added category, but I can just click on it and drag it to where I want it to be. I can also add PDFs. So if I have something already downloaded to my computer, I can click here where it says upload file find that file on my computer, give it a name, and choose which category I'd like it to show in, and also choose some type of icon so that the students will have something to click on, and click Add PDF. So now that PDF shows up on this page, and when the students click on it, it's going to open up that PDF for them so that they can go in and view that PDF. And I can also go in and add links. So if I click add link, type in the specific URL of where I would like my students to go. Give it a title and choose which category and an icon. And then click add link. Now when the students click here, it's going to bring them directly to the district webpage, just like any other app in Clever. Again, I can add as many apps, links, PDFs as I want to, to make sure that this is really a one-stop shop for my students. When they log in, they can just find this page that I have for them. And this is how it will look. So when they log in, this is what they'll see. They'll click on this, and then they can choose any one of those apps, or websites, or PDFs that I have already chosen for them right there. And they don't have to go to several different places trying to find everything. If I go back to my teacher pages, I can click on any one of these and edit them. So if I wanted to take something out, I could do my three dots and remove them. Or if I wanted to add something else to it, I can add anything else to it. Remember, they're all located right here. You can see from here which ones are visible to students and which ones are not 
and which ones you've shared with teachers. So if I go here to my practice page that I just created, it wasn't shared with anyone. So that means that I'm the only person that can see it. But once I'm ready for my students to see it, I'm gonna come up to share and then choose which students I want to see it. So I can do all of the students that I teach or one or more of the classes that I teach. So if I click on it, I can add as many classes as I want. I just have it for one class. If I wanted to share it with a teacher at my school, I would just click here, find that teacher's name that I want to share it with, and then update. So now when this teacher goes to her page, she can come right here where it says share it with me pages, and then she'll see that page that I have already shared with her, and she can go in and use that page for her students, but she won't be able to edit anything on my page.